switch back to the laser pointer. Okay, okay. Look at her eyes. She's getting unpredictable head turns and her eyes are compensating for those head turns exactly, absolutely exactly. You can see there in slow motion. Perfectly. That is the vestibular ocular reflex. And in healthy people it occurs thousands and thousands of times per day. And she is healthy and she does it beautifully. And of course the question is how and what goes wrong? Well, to understand how, we're going to come back down into the labyrinth of the inner ear. You can see these structures exactly where they are in the skull. They're deep down, and Bill knows this incredibly well. And these semicircular canals, and that's about six millimetres across there. And this gives you an idea of these canals here, which respond to that rotation. And most importantly, you can see this very thin tube here, right, going up into this big sac. That is the endolymphatic duct and that is the endolymphatic sac and down here is the cochlea and that fluid goes right through the whole system, through the canals and all the way down to the cochlea, this endolymph which is so important. And you say, well this is humans, it's extremely difficult to work on humans so we need to have an animal model and most of the animal work is done on guinea pigs and Daniel will be talking about this later on and you can see how how very similar the, the guinea pig labyrinth is. I haven't in fact uh, reconstructed the uh, endolymphatic duct and sac in the guinea pig but they're very similar to what happens in humans. 